This is 36 weeks. What I think will be his first fitting shoe. And it has four keys and it has four little doors. And it's actually hilarious. I'm finally gonna show you guys the full baby room. It's all done. Hello, hello, hello. It's been a while. I grew a little human inside of me in the meantime. Or at least he got a lot bigger, let me put it that way. I'm uh, currently 36 weeks. I don't think I've seen you guys uh, since the baby shower. But uh, four more weeks to go, hopefully a little bit less because it's getting tough. It's really getting tough. Like I'm really exhausted um, running around this <laughs> little guy the entire day. What's up everyone? <laughs> it is Wednesday. I thought I would do a little belly update. This is 36 weeks and three or four days. I'm not sure. It is pretty damn huge, isn't it? Look at this. Oh, and I hold it in. <laughs> oh, my back is hurting like hell. Sleeping is going so, so. One night is really good. One night it is terrible. But there's really nothing you can do at this stage, is there? So I am finally going to show you guys the full baby room. It's all done. Uh, it took me a while just because some things were delivered like super delayed. So I wanted to make sure that everything was done before I would film it. So here we go. So this is the bedside crib. It's only here because he's not born yet. So this will be gone. Then you have a lounge chair with some nice bohemian mirrors. And then this is his I need to actually leave the room to be able to film it. <laughs> Such a small room. But uh, I got the bed and the, uh, the um, changing table from Bobita. It's really been so far my favorite brand for these type of things. Like their furniture is amazing. And then I got this one <clears throat> specially made because I was so in love with what she was doing but she only had this one with koalas so i contacted her and i was like i really want some more animals on it preferable like pandas or something and she's like i have a really cute slot family <laughs> and she wasn't lying look at this you really can't get more cute than this for real so then i have these little elephants and there is a little light on there of course you're gonna take this away when the baby actually finally sleeps in it but what will actually take a long time because he's probably gonna sleep the first couple of months next to our bed and for now i have his pictures here of the three or four d ultrasound look a little smile oh my goodness i can't wait to hold him here is my um how do you say that like the bag that you take to the hospital like i guess hospital bag i will show you in a second what is in there and then this is the changing table. <laughs> I thought this was so cute. Like, I'm absolutely in love. By the way, none of this is sponsored. I'm just sharing what I, what I got. But I am in love with this brand. If you're looking to give something like a stuffed animal, please check this brand out. Then I have what I think will be his first fitting shoe. I don't even know what size this is. Like, what is the smallest size? It's a 17. And then probably the ones for after that. And here are the third ones. <laughs> and then I have here everything that we'll need for the first couple of weeks. So this was size 52, 56. And then we have size 62 here. Some swaddles. And everything for in the bed. So sleeping bags, but also fresh sheets and stuff. So yeah, I can't wait for this little man to be here and to hold him.
So if you notice, I'm literally out of breath the entire time. So please don't pay attention to it. It's like <laughs> talking is exhausting. Walking is exhausting. Pretty much anything I do is exhausting. So I want to show you guys what I got in my birding bag, delivery bag. What is it called? I don't know. But sometimes I see, or actually a lot of times I see people packing like suitcases and bags on top of bags on top of bags and with the first time with Jax I also just had a small bag because there's just really not that much that you need in the first day of course if you're gonna have to spend longer in the hospital but then I'm always like especially in Europe everything is so close by Cos will just drive home if you know if he needs to so for now it's literally just this and I really like this bag. I like this brand a lot as well. I just found it when I was looking for a bag to bring. Um, I'll show you in a second what is in there. But I have it here in his room because I'm still really hoping and like rooting for like giving birth at home. It's something that I just really want to do, especially if I talk to people about it. And I notice that... When I talk about the birth of Jax, there was just so much like, I wouldn't say trauma, but kind of it is trauma because everything was decided for me and nothing was decided by me. Like even at the end, I was pretty much begging for a C-section because I was withholding the contractions or the push contractions for one and a half hour. And then she was like, well, let me just finish up this test and then we'll make a decision. And I just feel like whenever you go to the hospital, all your cho choices are being taken away from you because they are responsible. So they, they want to make sure that they don't mis make mistakes or mess up. So they're going to do all the tests that they can to make sure the baby's healthy before they bring it in, <laughs> into the world. While like I'm thinking there are so many women like having their baby born in way worse situations and the babies are born fine too. So I'm really, really going to try to stay at home. And why am I saying like this? First of all, of course, you don't really have full control over it because if there's something wrong, your midwife will tell you to go to the hospital. And second of all, I am a big ass pussy when it comes to like medical things. So if Maybe, I just really don't know. Maybe at the moment it happens, I'm going to be so scared shitless that I want to go to the hospital either way. So we're going to see. Like, I'm, <laughs> I keep the bag upstairs because I, I feel like I need to pressure myself to do it at home to not, like, lose control. So we're going to see. But the first thing I have in my bird bag is this, and that's because I'm... Uh, I have a different blood type as my baby, so I already had the first injection and I need to have the second one right after I give birth of this little boy. And then second, the thing that I think is really important after the last time that I gave birth is energy drink. I have two. And seriously, I remember that when Jax was born, I actually could not cry. There was no tears in me. There was no fluid in me left, like literally absolutely nothing. I couldn't cry. I couldn't pee. I couldn't do anything. Like I felt so extremely dehydrated. My lips were completely broken. So I was like, I don't want to be dehydrated this time. So I'm going to make sure to have something on hand for myself. To, that that won't happen because you never know how long the birding process is going to take and it's really important to hydrate and clearly they really didn't give a damn about that when i was in the hospital so i'm going to make sure to do it myself so i have of course the little diapers and then i have his little first bird suit and i brought three sizes so because you never know what size he'll be born. So I have 52, 56, and 62, just in case. Some, um, like, how do you say that? Rompers? And then something that they put him in, I guess. Like, I just really don't know. I don't remember that much of with Jax. Everything was just done for me. And he just was pushed back in my arms with some clothing on. So I just gave them some options right now. And then just a big ass shirt for myself, which is really comfortable. 
uh, already breastfeeding bra and this super sexy panties for right after birth. Look, it's so sexy. That's the back side, actually. And this is the front with the belly, belly pouch, which can hold the big ass maxi pads that you're going to be <laughs> wearing for the first couple of weeks depending of course how long you bleed but also a shirt with the buttons on the front because i've also read somewhere that it's easy then you can just open your shirt instead of lifting it all up if you breastfeed this is a bathrobe like a really comfy one and then i have some clothing for the ca in the case if i need to go to the hospital some clothing to get back home so a really wide joggers but it's actually a male jogger so it really gives the space for these maxi pads and that was it literally that's it i don't know if any other parents have this but when you're really different from your partner you sometimes get a kid that you don't sometimes really don't know how to deal with because he's so different than you and that's with jacks like i was a child that you could just put in the corner with a pen and paper and i would just <laughs> pee on my own and i would just be fine like my mom sometimes had to check if i was still alive because it was so calm and Jax is the opposite. He's exactly like us. So he just is really not fascinated by the things that I was as a kid. So, so sometimes it's really difficult for me because I'm planning these things. For example, we'll go to like um, a petting farm. So it's a farm where they don't use the animals for anything, literally just cuddle animals. And we go there and there are so many cute, they're like deer and go deers and goats and whatever. And the only thing he wants to do is play with the fence in between. So the only thing we were doing, we're keeping the animals in, making sure Jax wouldn't just open gates and walk out because he was opening gates of like the little cages where bunnies are and stuff. So we tried that. Then we went to um, an outside playground where you pay entrance. Same thing. He literally just played with the gate for like an hour and then we left. So we pay entrance to for a kid to play with a gate. So this is like constantly happening. So I'm sometimes I'm kind of like, am I alone in this or other other women experiencing this as well with their kids? Like you just I don't really know how to entertain him. Actually, he is quite easily entertained. But where do I go for him to play with fences? You know what I mean? And doors and doorbells. So that's why I bought him this little house. I thought this is literally the perfect gift for him because any other thing that I can think about, he just wants to either run like on the beach or go somewhere where there's just ton of space for him to run and move and then maybe bring his car because he does love that. And other than that, there's just not many things. Like I see all these people taking their kids to this and this, for example, swimming. Okay, I go twice a week right now, right? The last time I went was terrible. So before this, everything was new. Everything was great. He was really enjoying the swimming pool and all the toys in the swimming pool, like like the, the slide and stuff. And then the fourth time, I guess he got bored. And then he literally just wanted to play with the door of the toilet that's in the middle of of the swimming pool because it's like a toilet for like little kids and there's kids wanting to go to, to, to the toilet so i have to take him away and he throws a tantrum because he doesn't want to play in the water like he literally just wants to run around and investigate the entire swimming pool because they don't put like a fence in between the little pool and the big pool so i have to make sure that he doesn't go off and run which is pretty difficult when you're this pregnant so it, I think I was there for like half an hour and then I went home because it just made no sense for me to be there because everything he wanted to do is not what normal kids do. <laughs> it's like, good Lord, you, like he just wants to be older than he is. You know what I mean? Like he wanted to explore the entire swimming pool and see way more than he could see like other kids are just entertained right there and then if you give them like a bucket and Jax is entertained for like five to ten minutes and then he's done so there was a little i wouldn't say tantrum but maybe more like hey is anybody out there having this same thing experiencing the same thing that your kid is just not easily entertained with kid things 
Um, I also kind of really hope that maybe the second one is a little bit more like me, <laughs> so it's not going to be as difficult as Jack sometimes can be. Uh, we're going to see. Okay, so I got him this. <laughs> so it's made from wood and it has four keys and it has four little doors. And then every door has a different key and also every door has a different doorbell. So there is numbers on those keys, but of course as a child you're not gonna, or at least not as a two-year-old, gonna understand which one belongs where, but I guess he'll figure it out just by the shape of it. And then you have a little <laughs> puppet behind it, but of course you can put whatever in, but these come with it. Like how freaking cute. Like he's obsessed with locks and doorbells. If we walk through the streets here, he'll literally want to ring everybody's doorbell. So I think this is going to really keep him entertained for the time meeting like his little brother and just being close to me while he gets used to having a little brother. It's like a dog, he's gonna eat from people's place. <laughs> he's gonna just go up up to their table and steal their french fries or something, that's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> you will get away with it. Maybe he's hungry. Should we go eat french fries? Okay. Okay. Cool. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed my incredibly weird ass yoga <laughs> session i've never recorded myself doing yoga being this pregnant so it was a shock for me to see it back and it's actually hilarious <laughs> it literally looks like somebody just stuck that tummy or belly on me and hopefully one of the next ones i will actually it will actually be the labor vlog i would absolutely love that <laughs> i cannot wait to get birth so thank you for watching leave a thumbs up uh, and see you next time <laughs> it just sucks out the mayonnaise. Yeah, of course. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>